Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good afternoon and a very warm welcome to everyone across all the locations. Today, this event is live and we have all of SSEI joining us in celebrating this milestone today. So can we have some noise here? Mumbai 2, Chennai 1, Chennai 2. Mumbai won. Everyone, guys, continue making some noise. <laughs> All right, thank you. Wow. Okay, well, that. It feels amazing to have all of us here together. It feels amazing to have all of us here today together. Awesome energy I already see. Well, to celebrate this incredible milestone. Truly one of the most remarkable successes in CMA CGM Shared Service Center India. Such a significant and proud moment for all of us today. The celebration today is stands as a testimony of all the efforts, dedication, hard work, perseverance, and pursuit towards excellence shown by all of you. So would you like to know who is the 3,000th employee? Yes? yes? Well, we have ascended to 3,000 employees today with every one contribution. And as we have till now, we shall continue to contribute and to ascend in every aspect, achieving greater milestones. Before we even know who our 3,000 employee is going to be, let us welcome all our new joiners across all the locations and from Mumbai too. Guys, a huge round of applause for all the new joiners. Our 3,000 employee is certainly one amongst these, right? Okay, so let's have a look at who could it be.
रोहित पवार संजय कुमार साबत शाकिर पटेल डू वी हैव दम य Do we have Rohit Pawar, Sanjay Kumar Sabat, and Shakir Patel here? Guys, request you to come here. Well, yes. Let's now know who the 3,000 employee could be. So. The two thousand nine 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 hundred and ninety seventh employee is Rohit Pawar, and we have Sanjay Sabat as our two thousand nine hundred and ninety eighth employee. And last but not the least, we have Shakir Patel as our two thousand nine hundred and ninety ninth employee. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So yes, the three thousand employee is still a suspense. Who could it be? Well, not yet. Let's wait for some more time to know who it could be. Our ambitious attempt. Our ambitious attempt to ascend has always been successful. The journey has been incredible. With all that we have achieved and celebrated, let's have a look at what we have been living with each milestone being celebrated and being accomplished gracefully.
isn't it? Yes. Well, the journey of five years is all due to the undying perseverance, strategic thinking, astute and dynamic leadership, symbolic to the growth of the SSE, led from the front by this one man. Well, yes, our managing director, Mr. C.S. Anand. Let's have a huge round of applause for C.S. Anand. I request C.S. Anand to join us and share the experience on this wonderful occasion. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to this uh, momentous occasion in uh, the life cycle of Shared Service Center India. I welcome all the participants from uh, Mumbai 1, from Chennai 1, and Chennai 2. This year has been uh, incredible and unbelievable at times because of uh, the milestones and the important events that have crossed our path during the course of the year. I would say the most important milestone for all of us here, the entire SSE India operation, has been the visit of uh, Mr. Rudolf Sade. In the month of April, he came over to this very office, spent time, reviewed our performance, reviewed our infrastructure, and uh, he was very pleased with our contributions till date and with the opportunity that we offer to the group in terms of creating value for our stakeholders and our customers as well. The second most important milestone for, for our organization has been the opportunity which has been presented to us to work on Project Infinity, which is the France Agency Export Documentation Import and DDSM Processes. Again, fantastic opportunity for us to demonstrate what we have built in terms of capability over time to the people in our head office and to the agency in France. And today we are here to celebrate this wonderful occasion of reaching this milestone of 3,000 employees. Now this is a huge milestone because a lot of work from all of you all has gone into accomplishing this milestone. I remember when I began this journey with the group in September of 2011, there were a lot of skeptics. There were a lot of skeptics very few, very few believed that this concept of a shared service center will work for the group. And I, I still remember two people who believed in it. One was Mr. Salem, because he has been the sponsor. And the second person who believed in this concept was me because I had to deliver. I was being recruited by the group to deliver this project. So I had to believe in it. But in the midst of all the discussions over time, in the first few months between September of 2011 to December of 2011, I realized there were many who felt, while the intentions were good, there will be too many challenges and there will be too many issues which will have to be overcome. So from there on began the journey and my first day at work in Chennai was this small office which was shown here, 200 square meters of space or 2,000 square feet of space and it had around 55 odd people. So the shared service center began with a small team of 55 odd people doing a little bit of work 
on uh, few processes. And Karthik here was uh, one of the persons who was there in the team in Chennai when I joined the organization in September. So the whole journey began in a very small office in Chennai. 55 people was what it began with. And then at that stage I realized if you have to make this project hugely successful, it was imperative that I have some of the best talent around me to form a team which can scale the mountain of challenges which was there in the initial stages, whether it was technology, whether it was process, whether it was methodology, or generally a belief that you can do work offshore in another country, still create value for internal and external customers. So with that in mind, the first few employees or team members were very important for me. So one of the persons I spoke to, who was my colleague in my earlier organization, Hapag Lloyd, was Kannan. So Kannan came on board sometime in Jan of 2012, and from there we began building this team for the shared service center journey. So one of the, the, the current office which we have in uh, Ambatur, in fact, all the offices, the two offices in Chennai, two offices in Bombay, whether it was Malad or Thane. When I first came to these locations, there was cement, there was bricks, and there was nothing else, empty. The only thing I could do is visualize that there will be a lot of employees, like we see today. All the workstations will be full, and there will be tremendous amount of activity. I could visualize, but there was nothing there. And today, when I look at all the offices, and when I see the number of people who operate from all the offices, it's a matter of enormous pride. Great pleasure that what was believed to be extremely difficult has become a reality and has been definitely accepted by all as a huge success. And this journey wouldn't have been possible if I didn't have a sponsor in HO. I had a very strong sponsor in the initial days. For the first three to four years, you needed very strong sponsorship. I had complete empowerment, which means trust. Remember, trust has to be earned through performance and delivery at all levels. Whether it is me or whether it is you or for everyone, you need to earn trust through sheer performance. So there was complete empowerment, complete trust, and fortunately for me, I could put together an outstanding team at a leadership level. I keep getting asked, you know, what is the most important thing when you put together an organization and things like that. Obviously for me, it's always people first. If you get your people dimension correct, Everything else falls in place. And of course, you need to trust people. You need to have people who are willing to work passionately so that the empowerment which they get is put to good use. From there on, the next part of the journey was focusing on technology. Today, if we have some outage on LARA and DCS, we get very disturbed. I mean, it was there earlier as well. But we need to work with limitations. We need to work with constraints. If there was no constraint, probably most of us would not be required. So this point on constraints with technology is something which we will, is something which we will face. But even if it is there, we need to work towards overcoming it either through innovation or through smart work with technology. So one of the things which happened during the early days was high levels of innovation, which means internally we decided to put together tools, and that is what you see in the form of CIRA. And there are a number of innovations that has been happening over the period of last five to six years. There are various solutions that have been put together 
Shekhar has done a lot of good work through various solutioning. So there are a lot of people who have contributed in building technology capabilities within the organization. An operation of 3,000 headcounts does not happen over time and due to luck. It happens through demonstrated excellence. It happens through sheer hard work. If we had not demonstrated excellence, we would not have an opportunity to move so much of work into Shared Service Center India. And if we have reached 3,000, it means that is the extent of confidence we have created amongst all our stakeholders. So excellence has always been the key word and will always remain to be the key word for all of us. And if we are able to drive the path of excellence, growing and developing for the organization and also at individual levels will never be a challenge. So our commitment to excellence, whether it is in terms of quality of delivery, whether it is in terms of cost leadership, whether it is in terms of compliance, needs to be consistently sustained. So the people dimension in terms of leadership layer plays a very important role and I have been fortunate that all my direct reports are people of very high caliber, very high quality. And I would like to thank them, each one, for their contribution to the organization as we journeyed through various challenges over the last six years. The office infrastructure, which all of you all here in, and in Chennai enjoy, is probably the best in class, which means that the group has invested in infrastructure so that each one of you has the best environment to deliver quality. The group and the organization investing in infrastructure means that everyone is concerned that you work with the best tools and technology, the best infrastructure, and in return what is expected from each one every day is that you do your best. Our journey of six years or five years as stated here and the headcount of 3,000 is also a reflection of how well we work as a team. As a team, we have been brilliant. We have worked together. We have added enormous value, not only for SSE India organization, but also for different agencies as well. So let us sustain the quality which we have been producing over time. There will be challenges. We need to work through that. We need to continue focusing on improvements, whether it is on the productivity side or on the cost leadership side. And we need to keep driving excellence and collaboration with HO and all the agencies. Before I uh, wind up my part, I'd like to thank uh, David and team for organizing this wonderful afternoon. Thank you very much, David. It's wonderful. HR for an operation of our size, for an organization whose focus is on service delivery, which is people-centric, HR has a very important role to play and it is not a support function. It's a fully operational function and I congratulate David and team for some excellent work that they have been putting together from a people dimension perspective. So well done David to you and the team. I'd like to thank Kaman for excellent work that is being done from a compliance and regulatory perspective. For all of you all, you must remember that SSE India is an independent entity registered under company law of India. So being an independent entity, we need to comply with a lot of regulatory and statutory requirements. So other than internal areas which corporate finance has to deliver, there are a number of statutory requirements which they need to work on consistently. Some of them can be very complex. And the latest one being GST. 
So these are the areas which Kanan and team have done brilliantly over time. So thank you very much, Kanan, for all the contributions. <laughs> on, the, on the functional side, I'd like to thank Peter for all the work that Peter has put in with regards to customer service. Customer service is a highly visible and high impact team with, cha with challenges every day. Because of the volume of transactions we work with, because of some of the agencies who have some peculiar nature with whom we have to work with on a regular basis, we still need to hold ourselves in a consistent and a steady way and manage expectations of all these agencies. So thank you very much, Peter, for all the work that you have put in over time and it's a great job. Now, moving FNA work from any part of the world, whether it is HO or the agency, is very difficult. The finance community is very sensitive regarding everything and anything which gets classified under finance and accounts. And Paul has been doing some tremendous work for SSE India. Thanks, Paul, very much to you and your team for all the work that you have put in for SSE India and for all the support that you have provided to all the stakeholders. Uh, we have some complex processes in the form of in the areas of commercial support and op support, commercial support, especially in the area of tender, in the area of claims, op support in the form of DG. And Srikanth has been doing great work in terms of driving these processes. Thank you very much, Srikanth, for driving it forward. Now, all of you all will not exist if transitions were not done, if work was not moved none of you all would exist. So uh, here is where I'd like to thank Karthik for all the work that you have done, Karthik, for moving work from various locations into the Shared Service Center India. Great job to you. And the most important, I mentioned about technology. Now, our own team within our organization in the form of information technology has been hugely instrumental in us scaling this sort of a height of 3,000 FTEs with various processes. So here is where I'd like to thank Gurbir for all the good work that you have done, along with Venkat for the Shared Service Center India, especially in developing solutions like Sira and others. So thank you very much, Gurbir. Fantastic work. So while I thank all my direct reports here, on the functional side and on the support side, I would also like to place on record my appreciation to the two locational heads whom we have, who have done some excellent work over the past two years. So let me begin with Raja. Well done to you, Raja, for managing Mumbai first location, Mumbai one location. There are some complex processes and there are few complex customers as well which are being managed from Mumbai 1. So excellent job done by you, Raja, by you and your team. Keep up the good work. And finally coming to Thane, or Mumbai 2 location. Sumit, as a location head, has been doing some excellent work here. Congratulations to you, Sumit. Well done. And Yeah, Sumit is on a home turf, so I would expect everyone to applaud him more. But Mumbai 2 or this location is special for all of us. And one of the reasons... <laughs> and uh, the reason being that we have had Mr. Rudolf Sade come here, which for us is a very important moment of truth for all of us in Shared Service Center India. So Sumit, well done to you and your team here in Shared Service Center India.
Now, having thanked all the contributors, having thanked all the employees of Shared Service Center India for their contribution in taking the organization forward and scaling this headcount of 3,000, I'd like to take this opportunity to invite Steve Bradley on stage. Steve. Now, Steve has taken over as uh, the global head for uh, Shared Service Center. He's taken up this role uh, recently from the month of August, and this is the first, first of his numerous visits, I'm sure, to the Shared Service Center India. I would uh, request St Steve to speak to the audience here and to the audience in Chennai and uh, share his thoughts. Thank you. So, so thank you, CS. Uh, it's a very great pleasure for me to be here today and a very happy coincidence that I happen to be making my first visit to India in this, uh, in this new role at the time of this very momentous uh, achievement that you are, you are celebrating today. So first of all, my very deep congratulations to all of you. <clears throat> Particularly my congratulations, of course, to CS who uh, obviously impresses very much with his, uh, with his speech, but also impresses much more with his actions. And uh, what I can see in terms of the respect and the, and the relationship he has built with all of the team. So uh, very sincere congratulations for that. So I, I actually thought I was being brought on stage to be celebrated as the 3000th employee, as I am new. Right? So if we can proceed straight away with the prize giving, uh, everything's fine for me. So yeah, as, as, uh, as CS mentioned, so I'm quite new to the, um, to the shared, service, shared service center world. Uh, I did make one visit as a customer back in 2015, I think it was, to Chennai. Uh, but now I'm very pleased to be taking on this, uh, this new role uh, and representing the head, office, uh, the, the head office organization in terms of shared service uh, centers. As you know, um, the Mumbai 2 uh, location is one of our key uh, shared service centers, but it is one amongst the network. And my, my role and my focus will be on to try to create a true network of the shared service centers. Uh, so involving not only uh, Mumbai and Chennai, but also the, uh, the shared service centers around the world uh, of APL. Uh, so I think this opens up a very, uh, interesting and, and exciting uh, chapter for the shared service centers as a whole and I, I sincerely believe that it will open up new opportunities and new developments and, ex and ex increasing transitions for, uh, for India and amongst, that, uh, amongst that new network. So, so I wasn't uh, expecting to be here t having this uh, ceremony today. I haven't pre prepared any particular great speech, so I will leave very much the, uh, the, the rest of the, uh, the celebration to take place. Uh, once again, I'd just like to thank everyone for the very warm welcome I've received. <clears throat> it's been really lovely and I, I really appreciate it. And I look forward to getting to know more of you in more detail uh, in due course. Uh, and once again, my great congratulations on this, uh, on this achievement. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, uh, Steve. And uh, that concludes my part. And I'll hand over to David. Thank you, thank you CS. It's always a pleasure listening to you. I would request CS to again join us on stage. <laughs> thank you. And also, Steve, to join us in the celebration. So yes, guys, we shall now disclose who the showstopper is, who the 3,000th employee is going to be. Are you guys ready for it? Yes? All right. So without taking much of your time, let me call the lucky one. Can we have the 3,000th employee of 
Shared Service Center, Sneha Kadam, on stage, please. Customer Service Department. Thank you, CS. Oh, well, Steve, I would request you to be on stage. So, as a mark of achieving this phenomenal milestone, I request Steve to felicitate CS with a gift. A huge round of applause for CS again. Thank you, CS. Thank you, Steve. So, as a remembrance of this achievement, we would also request Steve, uh, we also request CS to felicitate Steve with a gift from all of us at Shared Service Center, India. is his able army led by commanders well not literally but yes we shall have them all felicitated here today I request CS to once again join us on stage to felicitate the leadership team as I will invite them one by one thank you I 
request Kanan Ganesh to come on stage, the Executive Director, Finance and Legal. Thank you, Kanan. I would now request David Nalasambi, Senior Director, Human Resources, to join us on stage. Thank you, David. Can we have Gurbir Singh Bhatia, Senior Director, Information Technology? I would now request Peter Trent to come on stage. Senior Director, Function Head, Customer Service. I will now request Paul Edred to come on stage, Senior Director, Functional Head Finance and Accounting. <laughs> request Sumit Chakraborty to join us on stage, Senior Director, Looking for Head. invite Rajaram Ayer on stage, Senior Director, Location Head, Mumbai One. I request Srikant Rao to come on stage, Senior Director, Functional Head, Operation, Revenue and Commercial Support. I would like to invite Karthik Krishnamurthy, Director, Shipping Transitions. Thank you, CS. Well, I would like to thank all of you for joining us, making this event this day completely unforgettable. I would also like uh, to thank all the other locations, Chennai 1, Chennai 2, and Mumbai 2, and Mumbai 1. Thank you all. Thank you.